Hello boys, girls, girl boys, boy girls, whatever. I am Dr. DZ, and uh, as soon as these credits are done, you'll figure out that this is G.I. Joe the Atlantis Factor. Yep. Uh, that's what we're gonna play. Story happening right now with the really awful slow scroll text. So, uh, we figured out this game takes place a year after uh, the old G.I. Joe, or the other G.I. Joe. Uh, <laughs> unknown to anyone, the island was actually all that remained of the lost continent of Atlantis. So Cobra set up his main base, Cobra Commander set up his main base in Atlantis, basically. And uh, they also revived Cobra Commander, so that's pretty sweet. I don't know why they would bother, since he's obviously a chump. They should just make Destro the fucking commander. I mean, if you looked at those boss fights, Destro was the business, and Cobra Commander was a huge pushover. Hmm. Some pretty sweet music. I'm afraid to hit any buttons, because I think it might skip the whole scene, and I don't want to do that. Uh, oh, never mind. <laughs> da, 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 risk its time. Oh, General Hawk, sweet. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh huh. Alright. Sounds good. Fantastic. Holy cow. I get it. <laughs> Let me play the game, please. Alright, sweet. So we're here. This is the map. Uh, the game's kind of non-linear. You can pick your own little path. Uh, the goal, obviously, is to get to the top right, where Cobra's base is, and blow Cobra Commander to the fuck up. Um, you also get a bunch of different characters in this game, but since it's the beginning, we're starting with General Hawk. Uh, let's see if I can... Yeah, you can... Um, this little area shows you like each of the character's little moves, and you get different weapons in the game, but right now we just have the machine gun and, and fists, so... Uh, now how do I escape the screen? Okay. So it's like the other game where you can upgrade your crap. Um, the little upgrades are called POW, and they upgrade whatever weapon you currently have equipped. So you gotta make sure that when the POW gets out of a guy or whatever you switch to the weapon that you want, which actually becomes uh, a little more difficult when you've got a bunch of weapons, because you there's only one button to select weapons, which is uh, select, so when you've got like five weapons to cycle through, it gets a little hairy. There is a way to, um, I'm getting the, the gun upgrade because it makes some of the boss fights a little easier for me, but there is a way if you're good, you can use, oh god, the hand to hand to kill most of the bosses. But uh, I'm not that good, so... There is also a cheap technique called the Hyper Fists, I'll show in a second here. Where if you mash B and press down really fast, here's the turbo and here's me doing it manually. So it's basically the same speed. Um, you can punch a whole lot real fast. And it's it's also a way to take care of bosses and shit, but... Oh, God damn. I prefer the old-fashioned gun. So this guy, if you time it right and you just keep ducking at the right moment, uh, he won't be able to damage you. Yep. Sweet. Fantastic. We're almost at the end. Ha ha! And you always get a little radio at the end of every mission. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Sweet. What to? Awesome, so we got our first uh, additional character, and I'm going to take uh, a pretty direct route here at the beginning to get another character that I really like. And once I have him, I don't really give a crap about my other characters, and you'll see what I'm talking about eventually. So Wetsuit is good for, um, if there's ever an underwater area in a level, he can submerge, and then you can collect a- there's usually a shit ton of power-ups underwater, and you can switch to the other characters, um, 
with one caveat that if, if you're another character, like a non-underwater character in an underwater segment, um, you will start losing health after five seconds. Also, Wetsuit is the only character that can actually start um, submerging. So you want to, uh, if you want to go underwater, you have to have him in your party. All right, that's what I was looking for. Was that Pow? Because it's the only Pow that's like up at the top area, and now we're gonna be Wetsuits merge. Oh, thank God. I always worry about submerging because usually you submerge like right on top of an enemy and get damaged. And as you can see, Wetsuit doesn't start with a whole lot of health. Um, and I'm not going to be distributing health to him just yet because I want General Hawk to have the most health because he's my go-to character. So, there you have it. I can't remember if there's more crap back here, so we're going we're gonna to see. Also, ammo uh, gets pretty scarce in this game if you're always using your weapons. So, again, I like to use my strategy of ammo conservation and uh, save it for the boss fights. Oh god, I gotta stop doing that shit. <laughs> Especially once you get um, some of the later weapons. You can get like a, uh, I think there's a rocket launcher or something called a, a pulse wave cannon, which is stupid and worthless, and then like a laser cannon, which is freaking fantastic. Um, but each one of those weapons uses a differing amount of ammo. Like I think the rocket launcher, every shot takes like two. Um, the pulse wave cannon, like every shot takes three, and uh, the laser is like every shot takes four, so you have to really make sure you uh, make your shots count. Oh, I'm gonna die with wetsuit. Alright, sweet. It's the end of this stage. Now we're gonna actually go to our first, like, base area. As you can see, there's uh, a couple of them. Um, and they're usually stages that have like a certain objective, like some of them will be to uh, plant bombs, kind of like in G.I. Joe 1, some of them will be to rescue hostages, and so on and so forth, so this one is a, a bomb planting one, which should be a lot of fun. Mini boss coming up, haha! -ha! As you can see now, since my gun is like fully upgraded, instead of just firing one shot, uh, it fires four, which is nice. Does, does a lot of extra damage that way. This stage can be a little tricky, and actually a big pain in your ass. Um, come on. If you don't... Oh, son of a bitch. I'm gonna have to kill that thing again. If you don't get all of the bomb checkpoints here in the beginning, like you're supposed to... Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, you, you can make it possible to make the level uh, unwinnable. <laughs> So you have to make sure you get all the bomb checkpoints before progressing. Which is pretty, uh... Irritating. Oh, why the hell would it fucking... Oh, goddammit. I'm having some troubles getting my damn power-ups here. Ooh, health. Up. Oh. I probably look stupid. Yeah, um, as you can tell, I didn't mention it already, but General Hawk uh, does not have his fantastic jetpack from G.I. Joe 1. And he's just kind of like your default... Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, he's kind of your default character. He doesn't have like any special abilities. Like Wetsuit, obviously his special ability is submerging, but later on you get characters that do other shit. Um, Duke is, makes a return, and he's like the only guy that can actually shoot up anymore. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna get this power up. We'll jump out to the right. Bam! Awesome. Okay. Oh, and I land right on the goddamn thing. I hate these enemies. Uh, they're a pain to take out. If any of you can guess who my uh, favored character is going to be because you've probably played this game before. So, I hate you. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to get shot. 
I need some health. That'd be good. Oh, whoa. Um, you're looking to get, uh, seven of these, oh, jeez, bombs before you progress in the stage. That is our goal. Oh, damn it, I messed that up. Come on, baby. Oh, I got panicked and worried. got seven. All right. Awesome. I think there's a platform here. No? Oh, uh, I wasn't far right. Haha, <laughs> whoops. Uh, each of these base stages, by the way, has like a, an actual, oh god, cobra enemy, cobra boss. To face at the end. Alright, sweet. Got some health. Gotta be careful here because there's a bunch of spikes and I don't want to hit them. Okay, so now I can start leveling up freaking wetsuit because uh, Hawk is full up. At level 3, you get this kick, which is pretty sweet. Ow, damn it. You also get the jump kick, which can kill a lot of stuff real fast. And then at level 4, you get this downward strike that's pretty powerful as well. As I'll demonstrate right there. Bam. Done. I think there's another... no, never mind. I thought there was another mini-boss coming up. And here's the last checkpoint, so as you can see, if you come down here with less than seven, uh, I don't think there's any way to get back up because that huge fall that we took. Oh, here's the boss. I better get some more health because I want... <laughs> actually, yeah, never mind. The boss of this stage is pretty easy. I can probably beat him without too much trouble. Switch in here to a uh, wetsuit so I can collect power ups. So I can use wetsuit a little bit on bosses at least. Without uh, having to worry about General Hawk losing all his health or whatever, I can get some free shots in with wetsuit, even though he's got like no health whatsoever. That was a useless platform, it's there to trick you. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, look at how quickly I was able to freaking. Yeah, that was sweet. Oh! I'm trying to wait for the exact right moment to jump up there. There we go. One advantage of being a Cobra, apparently, is that you are completely immune to spike damage. Um, so. Keep that in mind when you're pledging loyalties in the future. Oh god. Oh, I thought... Nope. Okay, sweet. Thought they were gonna give me another power-up thing, but I guess not. So, now we will pick General Hawk and fight the boss. Uh oh. He's got a pretty uh, exploitable attack pattern. Mostly, you want him to always spawn, like, up here. So you can sit below him and shoot. I could probably actually use my fists even, but... Oh yeah, and then once he's done shooting, he'll do this jump attack bullshit right there. So, that's it. It's this boss. Yeah, eat it, eat it, eat it. Hyper fist, yeah! Conserve that ammo. Whoa! <laughs> Awesome! And now we're gonna get uh, my favorite character that will make all of our hard work and sacrifice totally worth it. Uh, okay. Bam! Storm Shadow. 
Because it's actually, technically, he's like a Cobra. Um, so I don't know why he's on the G.I. Joe team for this game, but whatever. I'll take it. Uh, let's see. Oh, so here's the Pulse Rifle I was telling you about that's completely worthless. So I'll, I'll demo it uh, in the next episode, because I think we're running out of time here. Uh, yep, so I will see you for the next episode of Let's Play G.I. Joe The Atlantis Factor.